Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episodes 41, Complete Burning Sky Cauldron Fierce flames seemingly filled the scarlet red domain, as a scorching heat was continuously emitted. This made the domain seem as if it was a furnace, and its high temperature was unbearable. Lin Dong was seated in the air. There were no defenses around him. This burning sky cauldron had already completely merged with him. The temperature within it might be fatal to others, but it posed no harm towards Lin Dong. At this moment, both of Lin Dong's eyes were shut. His mind sunk into the burning sky cauldron, and controlled the formation. Although he was unable to intervene in the refinement process, he needed to maintain this formation. Else if the formation was disrupted, the refinement would fail. At that time, the eight volcano flame essence stones would be wasted. Bang bang! 8,000 feet large fire cauldrons were suspended within this enormous fire array that covered the entire place. Fire dragons swam around the surface of those fire cauldrons. Occasionally, the dragons would open their mouths, as balls of scarlet red flames were spat into the cauldron. Chi. At the middle of each of those eight cauldrons were eight clusters of light. These light were extremely bright, appearing like little suns. As they gave off light, frightening ripples quietly spread from them. It felt as though eight wild and violent volcanoes were hidden within these light clusters. Additionally, there vaguely seemed to be eight gates quietly taking shape deep within those light clusters. Lin Dong slowly opened his tightly shut eyes. His eyes revealed an excited expression as he glanced at the wild and violent cluster of light within the cauldron, and a slight smile surfaced on his face. Everything were proceeding according to plan. All that he needed to do, was to wait for the moment when everything was naturally completed. Once the burning sky gate was successfully refined, he would be able to completely unleash the might of this burning sky cauldron. Lin Dong had been anticipating the arrival of this day for a very long time. The subsequent period of time was a kind of quiet wait. In the blink of an eye, eight days had passed. During these eight days, the domain within the burning sky cauldron grew wilder and more violent with the passing of each day. Fire reigned and raged within the domain. At the end, the fire rain turned into a firestorm that swept throughout the domain within the burning sky cauldron. This activity caused Lin Dong to rejoice slightly. Fortunately, the refinement could be completed within the burning sky cauldron. Should this be done in the outside world, he would definitely end up attracting the attention of countless experts. At that time, many people would also take a peek at the situation. The trouble it would bring would cause Lin Dong a great headache. The fire cauldrons within the large array gradually became unstable as the domain became increasingly wild and violent. Those originally indistinct doors within the light clusters had began to become clearer. A terrifying fluctuation quietly spread out from within them. In the face of that fluctuation, even the space around the fire cauldrons become slightly distorted. Bang bang! The formation began to tremble intensely following the growing instability of the fire cauldrons. Lin Dong's expression also became a lot more solemn as he sensed the changes in the formation. Currently, it was already 70 to 80% done. Should he fail at this moment, it was likely that he would end up feeling quite depressed despite his character. Lin Dong's long fingers crossed each other. His hand seals quietly changed at this moment, while his mind continued to suppress the disorder within the large formation. His efforts clearly had some effect. A moment later, the originally fluctuating formation became substantially calmer. However, Lin Dong's mind did not relax as a result. Both of his eyes were searing hot, as he stared at the middle of the cauldrons. Flames were rising at that spot, and the eight scarlet red gates were partially visible. It is almost time. A searing heat surged out from Lin Dong's pitch black eyes. Immediately, he bit the tip of his tongue, and eight mouthfuls of essence blood with concentrated Yuan power were spat out. Lin Dong's face immediately turned pale as eight mouthfuls of essence blood were spat out. However, his mind was extremely excited. With a flick of his finger, the eight essence blood clusters turned into arrows that shot into the fire cauldrons. Finally, they entered the scarlet red gates that had been formed. Buzz. After the bright essence blood entered those scarlet red gates, those originally somewhat unstable gates began to shake wildly at this moment. Wave after wave of extremely berserk scarlet red light was emitted. Finally, they smashed onto the fire cauldrons with a loud bang. Lin Dong's eyes were grave. He controlled the formation with all his might. He was aware that this was the most important stage. If he was unable to leave his mark on the burning sky gates, he would be unable to control them. In this way, all of his hard work would be for naught. After all, regardless of how powerful they was, 
What use would they be if they did not obey his control? I must succeed. Lin Dong muttered to himself. His hand involuntarily tightened, and some perspiration seeped out from his bomb. Bang bang. A thunderous roar continued to be emitted from the eight fire cauldrons. The roar seemed to smash into Lin Dong's heart, causing the corners of his eyes to jump involuntarily. Boom boom. Another wild and violent force suddenly smashed violently onto the fire cauldrons. After which, Lin Dong's pupils shrunk, as he saw cracks appearing on the fire cauldrons. The fire cauldrons were unable to endure the growth of the gates within them. Lin Dong's face was grim. With a thought, scarlet red light swept out from within the formation. After which, it wrapped around the eight fire cauldrons, and continued to stabilize them in an attempt to prevent them from exploding. The fire cauldrons began to swell at a shocking speed under Lin Dong's control. In a short couple of breaths time, the eight fire cauldrons had swelled to twice their size. From a distance, they appeared like eight ten thousand feet large fire cauldrons floating in the sky, a scene that was quite stunning. As the cauldrons swelled, the shaking also began to gradually weaken. Fiery red light swiftly gathered within the cauldrons, as the shape of the gates became increasingly clear. Moreover, a faint connection began to rise within Lin Dong's mind as the scarlet red gates became clearer. The source of that connection, were the eight burning sky gates that had yet to be completely formed with the cauldrons. The appearance of this connection caused joy to be revealed Lin Dong's eyes. He understood that he already had initial success in the completion of this step. Bang! A shocking thunder-like sound suddenly exploded in the sky. The light within the eight fire cauldrons brightened to the point where one's naked eye was unable to look directly at them. Is it about to be formed? Lin Dong slightly narrowed his eyes, as green light gathered within them. He could clearly see that the eight scarlet red gates within the glaring light from the cauldrons were already gradually stabilizing. Bang! Eight glaring intense light rays suddenly shot out from within the fire cauldrons at this moment, as light symbols appeared on them one by one. Finally, they emitted a couple of loud bangs, and the eight cauldrons actually exploded at the same time. Swoosh swoosh swoosh! Monstrous flames swept across the sky. Soon after, 8,000 feet long scarlet red light beams shot out from the flames that seemingly blotted the sky. Finally, they quietly floated before Lin Dong's somewhat excited eyes. Lin Dong's eyes were filled with excitement as he gazed at the sky. 8,000 feet large crimson gates were quietly standing in eight directions. Scarlet red flames flowed within these gates, appearing like meandering fire dragons. The eight scarlet red gates stood in the horizon, as an invisible fluctuation quietly swept apart as the originally wild and violent energy within the burning sky cauldron began to quieten down. Phew! A cluster of white vapor was slowly exhaled from Lin Dong's mouth. His mouth parted as he looked at the eight scarlet red gates, and laughter was involuntarily emitted from his mouth. He was aware that a burning sky cauldron with the burning sky gates was considered complete. From this moment onwards, he would be able to truly unleash the might of the burning sky cauldron. By relying on the eight-level burning sky gates within this burning sky cauldron, Lin Dong had the confidence to fight anyone, as long as they were not those experts who had truly stepped into the profound death stage. Lin Dong observed the eight burning sky gates. It was a long while later before he finally waved his sleeve. The sky shook, and the eight scarlet red gates were gradually hidden. The next time he met an enemy, all he needed was a thought, and these eight burning sky gates would be able to unleash a frightening power to kill his enemy. I have finally succeeded. Lin Dong grinned as he looked at the eight burning sky gates that had been hidden. He had finally obtained the reward he desired after putting in such a great amount of effort. When Lin Dong exited the burning sky cauldron, the first thing he noticed, was Mu Ling Shan sleeping peaceful atop the life death coffin cover like a little kitten. Unable to hold it in, he bitterly laughed. This little lass sleeps a little too much. Could she have been sleeping all along while he was closed within the cauldron? Lin Dong stood before the floating life death coffin cover as he stared at Mu Ling Shan's porcelain doll-like face. At this moment, a strand of saliva was hanging from the corner of her mouth, evidence of the sweet dream she was having. This last. With a slight smile, Lin Dong shook his head as he gently stroked Mu Ling Shan's little head. As his palm made contact with her, his pupils suddenly contracted. The devouring ancestral symbol within his body had unexpectedly started to tremble at this moment. What's going on? Lin Dong pursed his lips, as his expression started to fluctuate it irregularly. Why did the devouring ancestral symbol within him have such a strange response towards Mu Ling Shan? Yan floated out beside Lin Dong, and stared at the comfortably sleeping Mu Ling Shan while frowning. After some hesitation, he suddenly waved his hand as a tiny ray of light shot out, before shining on Mu Ling Shan's body. 
Under the illumination of light, a bright light suddenly floated out from Mu Lingshan's body, before transforming into a mini whale. The whale appeared black and white, akin to the fusion of yin and yang. At the same time, an ancient and peculiar fluctuation was continuously emitted from it. This is Lingshan's demonic spirit? Lin Dong was a little taken aback as he gazed upon the similarly soundly sleeping little whale. Yes. Yan nodded his head and muttered, this body is indeed of the immortal sage whale clan. However, these fluctuations seem somewhat strange. They aren't only those of the immortal sage whale. Upon hearing Yan's mumbling, Lin Dong could not help but shrug his shoulders, looks like this lass is not so simple after all. Even you are unable to understand her inner intricacies. At this point, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly flashed as he asked, could Ling Shan be a reincarnator? These fluctuations are more peculiar than those of a reincarnator. Yan replied. Lin Dong was stunned. Soon after, he shook his head in helplessness. He did not plan on asking Mu Ling Shan about it, and it was possible that she did not even know about her strangeness. Even if she knew, everyone had their own secrets, and it was inappropriate for him to question her too much. Forget it, you can investigate in future. Upon hearing Lin Dong's words, Yan also felt helpless and nodded his head. He was likely somewhat unresigned. With his knowledge and experience, there was nothing that he had not seen in this world. Yet, he was somewhat at a loss due to this last before him. Yan's figure transformed into a flash of light, and shot into Lin Dong's body once again. Subsequently, Lin Dong retracted his palm from Mu Ling Shan's head, before giving a dry cough. Oh! Brother Lin Dong! Is your training over? As his dry cough rang out, there was finally some response from the soundly sleeping Mu Ling Shan. In a flash, she hastily opened her large and clear gemstone-like eyes. Her face was red like a beetroot as she said in embarrassment, it seems. That I fell asleep without noticing. Lin Dong chuckled and replied, let's go in for a stroll. Great. Upon hearing that she could go out, Mu Ling Shan's sheep horn-like braids swayed in excitement. It was likely that asking her to obediently stay in the room and stand guard for Lin Dong had made her feel stifled and torment. With a laugh, Lin Dong rubbed her sheep horn like braids, before keeping the burning sky cauldron within his body. Turning around, he led Mu Ling Shan out of the room. During the few days that Lin Dong had been in closed cultivation, the number of people within Sky Merchant City had increased at a terrifying speed. Countless experts had gathered from the neighboring sea regions. In this way, the mix of characters within Sky Merchant City continued to become increasingly varied. Due to the presence of all kinds of bad characters, the order within the city had turned substantially more chaotic. While Lin Dong strolled about Sky Merchant City with Mu Ling Shan, he also obtained a substantial amount of information. According to what he heard, other than the Demonic Wind Cave, even the other great faction of the Heavenly Wind Sea region, the Universe Cave, had also arrived in Sky Merchant City. Furthermore, the leader of their group was also known as the pinnacle expert in the younger generation of the Heavenly Wind Sea Region, Universe Han Zhou Qian. Other than the Demonic Wind Cave and the Universe Cave, there was the Illusionary Demon Sect of the Illusionary Demon Sea, the Heavenly Tablet School of the Northern Chuen Sea, and various others. These factions were all overlord existences of their regions in the Chaotic Demon Sea. Yet, all of them had now gathered in Sky Merchant City. From the looks of it, turbulent times were coming for Sky Merchant City as expected of the Sky Merchant Court. Its rallying power is so terrifying. Upon learning about this situation, Lin Dong could not help but secretly feel speechless. A single auction was able to attract the attention of all these heavyweight powers. From the looks of it, the quality of the auction hosted by the Sky Merchant Court seemed rather high. At this point, anticipation involuntarily gushed out from Lin Dong's heart. Would he be able to obtain the sea map of the second ancestral symbol from this auction? There's still two days before the start of the auction. During these two days, the atmosphere within Sky Merchant City was seemingly on the brink of exploding. The days passed in the blink of an eye, as the first rays of sunlight shone down in the early morning, while the entire city became akin to a volcano erupting in full force. At this moment, the entire city was totally immersed in a frenzied state. Whoosh whoosh. As Lin Dong and Mu Ling Shan walked out of the tavern, whooshing sounds that rang out all over the sky as figures shot towards the northern part of the city like a swarm of locusts. That great array has been activated, huh? Lin Dong raised his head and looked towards the gigantic array that enveloped the entire city. At this moment, its radiance was much more solid than before. A boundless fluctuation was faintly discernible, as it radiated out from it. Clearly, the Sky Merchant Court had activated the city protection array. 
Under the intimidation of this array, even a perfect profound death stage expert would not dare to behave atrociously in front of the Sky Merchant Court's main doors. Let's go. Lin Dong smiled towards Mu Ling Shan, who was so excited that she was looking furiously in all directions. With a move of his body, he shot into the sky, before heading towards the north. Behind him, a blue little tail swiftly followed. A plaza floated in the northern part of Sky Merchant City. The plaza was approximately a hundred thousand feet wide, allowing it to amply house a hundred thousand people. This plaza was where the Sky Merchant Court held their auctions. A screen of light descended around round the plaza, and it originated from the great protection array in the sky above Sky Merchant City. Anyone wanting to participate in the auction within this plaza would need to an invitation letter sent out by the Sky Merchant Court. Lin Dong stopped before the light screen and flipped his palm, as a purplish-black invitation letter appeared in his hand. Flicking it towards the light array, it instantly trembled, producing a crack, which Lin Dong and Mu Ling Shan swiftly shot through. Bang! The moment he entered the light array, a deafening clamor swarmed towards him, causing Lin Dong to faintly wrinkle his eyebrows. Raising his gaze, he saw a sea of humans that stretched to the end of his sight. He felt somewhat helpless as he shook his head. This was the first time he had attended an auction of such scale. Let's go to our seats first. Lin Dong's gaze swept across the vast plaza, before he led Mu Ling Shan and landed at certain spot among the seats in front of them. Brother Lin Dong, you've indeed come. Just as his figure swept across the air, laughter akin to the chiming of bells suddenly rang out from in front of him. Upon raising his head, the first thing he saw, was the slender and elegant figure of Tang Dong Ling, smiling as she looked at him. Since I've come to Sky Merchant City, how could I miss such a grand occasion? Lin Dong had a somewhat favorable impression of this Tang Dong Ling, hence, he stopped and replied her with a smile. Tang Dong Ling covered her mouth and laughed. She was extremely beautiful. Together with her high status within the Sky Merchant Court, her chat with Lin Dong attracted the attention of several gazes. Quite a few of those gazes swept across Lin Dong's body, trying to find exactly who was it that had gained the good graces of the misses of Sky Merchant Court. Lin Dong also sensed the popularity that Tang Dong Ling possessed. Those gazes made him feel slightly unnaturally. However, just as he was about to request his leave, numerous whooshing sounds suddenly rang out behind him. He shot a glance at them, as he frowned a little. The ones who had come was the little underworld King Xie Yan of the Demonic Wind Cave. Ha ha, Dong Ling, after not seeing you for a year, you've grown increasingly beautiful. Xie Yan arrived beside the two, and sent a smile towards Dang Dong Ling. His tone was rather intimate. Miss Tang, I'll take my leave first. Not wanting to have any contact with Xie Yan, Lin Dong shot a look at the latter, before saying a few words towards Tang Dong Ling as he prepared to leave. Ha ha. Just as he turned around, a soft laughter suddenly rang out from Xie Yan. Staring at Lin Dong with some amusement in his eyes, he said in a soft voice, So you're Lin Dong? Lin Dong's body paused, as a stern glint crept up from the depths of his eyes. Lin Dong's body faintly paused. A split second later, he slowly turned his gaze towards Xie Yan, who had some amusement in his eyes, as he spoke out in a flat voice, Is there a problem? Xie Yan's fingers were interlaced together, as he stared at Lin Dong with interest and replied, I've received a piece of news two days ago. The nefarious bone old man of our demonic wind cave had been unexpectedly seriously injured by you. Ha ha, I'm indeed very curious. Exactly what did you, a person at the initial profound life stage, rely on to achieve such a feat? This seems to be unrelated to you, right? Lin Dong's eyes faintly narrowed as he responded. From a certain perspective, the nefarious bone old man is a part of our demonic wind cave. Since you've injured him, you've hurt the face of our demonic wind cave. Xie Yan replied with a smile. Does that mean that you, sir, are planning to capture me as an apology to that old ghost? Lin Dong asked with a smile. However, that smile had a fierceness that was akin to the sharp edge of a knife. You're indeed a brazen person as the rumors say. However, if there's a chance, I will bring you back to the nefarious bone old man to deal with. Xie Yan smiled and replied, while stroking a jade ring on his thumb. He could hear quite a bit of hostility from Lin Dong's words, causing him to feel somewhat unhappy. After all, not many within the younger generation could speak to him in such a manner. Although he did not know what methods the latter had employed to injure the nefarious bone old man, Xie Yan did not believe that it was his own strength. It was more than likely due to some kind of external help, together with a strategy against the nefarious bone old man. Hence, causing the latter to be caught off guard, and end up being injured to such an extent. I'm afraid you don't have the capability. Lin Dong replied with a faint smile. Is that so? 
Xie Yan pursed his while gently smiling. However, hidden under his smile, was an evil and sinister fluctuation that caused one's heart to palpitate. The two of them faced each other in the sky, with neither prepared to give an inch, while the flow of air around them seemed to have stealthily become somewhat solemn. Young Master Xie, my Sky Merchant Court is hosting the auction here today, and this place isn't suitable for fighting. Therefore, I hope that you will cease your dispute on account of our Sky Merchant Court. Tang Dong Ling was a good-natured person. However, in response to the two individuals facing off in the sky, her brows had started to faintly wrinkle as she spoke. Ha ha, since Dong Ling has spoken, I'll naturally show my respect. Xie Yan leaned his head to the side and looked towards Tang Dong Ling, as a gentle smile surfaced on his handsome face. I have come here to attend to other matters. As for the grudge between you and the nefarious bone old man, he will handle it himself. Therefore, if you do not wish for trouble, you better restrain your so-called arrogance in front of me. If not, you will not like what will happen. Xie Yan shrugged his shoulders at Lin Dong, giving off a carefree appearance as he continued, perhaps, you feel that those words aren't pleasant to hear. However, there are some people that you cannot afford to offend after all. This is a truth that cannot be changed. Within the chaotic demon sea, if one doesn't have ample backing, I believe it is better to not be overly arrogant. Lin Dong's eyes hardened slightly as he stared at Xie Yan. Moments later, he faintly smiled as he replied, thanks for your reminder. However, I will also give those words back to you. In my eyes, your so-called backing is not very intimidating. The things that I've seen are also something that you can never imagine. You've said this earlier, this is the grudge between me and nefarious bone old man, and doesn't have much relation to you. However, if you were to meddle in this affair, I will be happy to accompany you. However, I'm usually unbridled and totally unrestrained in the way I handle things. There will be consequences that I'm afraid that even you are unable to bear. Therefore, before you plan on doing anything, allow me to caution you to think thrice before doing so. Upon hearing those words, the smile present on Xie Yan's handsome face started to slowly retreat bit by bit, as a sinister look appeared within the depths of his eyes. Those words by Lin Dong had not given him even a little bit of face. Tang Dong Ling had also gawked upon hearing Lin Dong's words, before her beautiful eyes sparkled faintly. She had some information about Lin Dong. Therefore, she did not believe he was acting pretentiously by saying those words. A person that could escape with his life after being attacked by three Samsara stage super experts, indeed had the qualifications to say those words to Xie Yan. Ah! The smile on Xie Yan's face had already completely vanished. However, a somewhat sinister laugh emerged from his mouth. His ten clasped fingers straightened, as he faintly nodded his head and said, I'll remember your words. However, I believe that your words will end up amusing yourself in the end. Right after saying those words, Xie Yan turned and smiled towards Tang Dong Ling, before turning around to leave. As he did so, the evil aura around his body abruptly became much more thicker, with chilling intent now mixed within it. From the looks of it, the conversation between the two of them was considerably unpleasant. What you did has truly offended him. Tang Dong Ling pursed her red lips, as she looked at Lin Dong and remarked. I don't like trouble. However, if there are people who insist of forcing their way in, I can only kick them away. Lin Dong chuckled and cupped his hands towards Tang Dong Ling, thanks Miss Tang. I'll go to my seat first. I believe that today's auction will definitely be very spectacular. Upon saying those words, he did not tarry any longer, and brought Mu Ling Shan as they descended towards the seat. Tang Dong Ling's intelligent eyes faintly sparkled as she looked at Lin Dong's back. From the looks of it, the probability of the person before her being the same person as that Lin Dong from the Eastern Chuan region should be around 80%. As the character and speaking mannerisms of the two of them were practically the same. No wonder who he dares to challenge Xie Yan. Looks like his backing is also quite strong. Tang Dong Ling faintly smiled, before she turned around and left. That fellow is truly detestable. I really wish to send him flying with a punch. Upon landing on their seats, Mu Ling Shan frowned with her little mouth. The fellow she was talking about, was naturally Xie Yan whom they had encountered earlier. Lin Dong nodded his head slightly. He could see that Xie Yan seemed to have some special feelings towards Tang Dong Ling. The way he had spoken at that start was undoubtedly a warning towards Lin Dong. However, conveying this in such a way was rather problematic, as he had chosen the way that Lin Dong detested to most, threatening. This made Lin Dong, who usually only submitted to soft approaches, and rejected hard ones, to feel exceeding unhappy. Lin Dong shot a glance at Xie Yan, who was seated in the place reserved for distinguished customers, as he faintly narrowed his eyes. Hopefully, 
this fellow would not try to cause trouble for no reason. If not, regardless of whatever status he had within the demonic wind cave, if he provoked Lin Dong's anger, he would directly kill Xie Yan. In the front, Xie Yan seemed to be rather sensitive to such a gaze, as he shot a glance from the corner of his eye and located Lin Dong behind. The eyes that were originally filled with slight maliciousness instantly became conspicuously darker and sinister. Young cave master, is that the Lin Dong who was said to have injured the nefarious bone old man? An elder in black at Xie Yan's side also shot a look in Lin Dong's direction with his turbid eyes, and inquired. Yes. A brat that doesn't know the immensity of the heavens and the earth. Xie Yan replied with a sneer, before continuing, if not for the task we have been assigned to do here, I'll definitely break that brat's four limbs, and capture him to be delivered before the nefarious bone old man. Ha ha. There's no need for young cave master to be angry. If this matter goes smoothly, after the auction is over, this old man will definitely take action and capture him. At that time, young cave master can do whatever you want with him. The black clothed elder said with a faint smile. Although the matter of Lin Dong injuring the nefarious bone old man was extremely unbelievable, both of them knew that Lin Dong had definitely set up some hidden scheme, and the former had been caught by it due to his negligence. As long as this point taken note of, this Lin Dong would not be able to do anything. After all, at the end of the day, the latter only had the strength of the initial profound life stage. Let's get our hands on that item first. Xie Yan scanned his surroundings, before he replied, quite a few heavyweights have come. We can assume that they're also after the same item, and it's still unknown if we will be able to obtain it in the end. The black clothed elder nodded. After some slight hesitation, he asked in a low voice, is that information verified? We still do not know. However, regardless of whether it is real or fake, we can only feel at ease if it lands in our hands. Xie Yan replied. Yes. Lin Dong retracted his gaze from Xie Yan's body. Just as he was about to close his eyes to take a rest, he felt a gaze on him. Immediately, he tilted his head, and saw a rather handsome man at the right in front dressed in white, staring at him with a faint smile on his face. The male had a lanky build, and his hands were exceeding slender. Furthermore, they appeared to have a gem-like luster on them. When looking at them, one could feel a faint feeling of them being able to flip and cover the universe, a considerably peculiar feeling. Lin Dong gazed at the man dressed in white. His eyes faintly hardened as he muttered, Universe Hand. Zhou Qian. This place is really lively. Nodding his head and smiling towards the man dressed in white, Lin Dong retracted his gaze, as he muttered within his heart. This Sky Merchant Court auction was truly a place where numerous experts gathered like the clouds in the sky. Looks like there would indeed be a good show to watch in this auction. Dong. As this thought flashed past in Lin Dong's mind, a clear ring of a bell resounded out from the center of the vast auction square. In the next moment, a beautiful figure dressed in red arrived. It was Dang Dong Ling. Lin Dong watched as the lady in red landed on the platform, and faintly straightened his body. He knew that the auction was finally about to begin. The clear chime of a bell resounded over this spacious auction ground, as the originally terribly noisy place suddenly became quiet. Countless fiery hot gazes, which were filled with anticipation, shot out. Finally, they paused on the red figure on the auction stage at the middle. PSKDSK, the current young Mrs. Tang is becoming increasing pretty and attractive. She looks just like a little fox that makes one's heart itch. Whoever manages to marry her will truly be blessed. Ha ha, moreover, she is also the young Mrs. of Sky Merchant Court. Whoever marries her will enjoy the endless amount of wealth and resources of Sky Merchant Court. As long as one possess some talent, one will definitely become a first-class expert in the chaotic demon sea in the future. DCH, stop letting your imagination run wild. The number of young and handsome geniuses chasing her can form a line from the north of Sky Merchant region all the way to the south. How will you even get a turn? Lin Dong listened to the laughter all around him, as his eyebrows raised slightly for a moment. Although he had guessed that this Tang Dong Ling likely possess a high position within Sky Merchant Court, he did not expect that she would actually be the young missus. She is indeed a wealthy little lady. Lin Dong quietly laughed. Given the wealth of Sky Merchant Court, marrying her would be akin to ascending the heavens in a single step. On the auction stage, Tang Dong Ling was completely at ease even under those countless pairs of eyes that contained various emotions. Her sharp and exquisite face contained a smile that made one's heart itch. This woman naturally had a kind of charm. Although she did not display it openly, her every frown and smile would stir one's soul. Everyone, let me first thank everyone for coming here to join us on behalf of Sky Merchant Court. The Sky Merchant auction this time around will likely not disappoint anyone. 
Tang Donglang gazed upon the entire square with a face full of smiles. Her soft and lovely voice caused many to shut their eyes while feeling slightly intoxicated. Having such an attractive beauty host this auction, was likely more comfortable than having an old man do so. I shall not say anything unnecessary. It is about time. The auction shall now begin. Tang Dongling smiled sweetly. She waved her jade-like hand, and a pretty female servant stepped forward while carrying a silver plate. Atop the silver plate was a dark red scroll that sparkled like a gem. Flame Demon Sky Connecting Palm. A middle-level heaven martial art. It was created by a Samsara stage expert a thousand years ago, and will be able to burn the world after mastering it. Dang Dongling's soft and gentle voice slowly spread. Sure enough, it stirred quite a big commotion within the auction area. A heaven martial art was rather rare even within this chaotic demon sea. Moreover, this was a middle-level heaven martial art. Many people felt a great desire towards such items that could raise one's fighting strength. Starting off with a heaven martial art. They are really bold. Lin Dong inwardly praised. If such a martial art was placed in the Eastern Xuan region, it would definitely be placed as one of the latter key objects to be auctioned. Yet, it was the first to be taken out in this place. Although this was perhaps purposefully done by the Sky Merchant Court to make the atmosphere more lively, it was still possible to sense the quality of the auction through this. The auction price of this martial art starts at 2 million Xuan Yuan pills. Any friends who are interested should not miss this opportunity. After Tang Dong Ling smilingly uttered these words, the entire place was momentarily silent, before someone quickly called out a bid. Moreover, there seemed to be many who had their eyes on this item. Hence, the price broke 3 million Xuan Yuan pills in a short couple of minutes. Lin Dong smacked his lips together. It seemed that there were indeed many people in this chaotic demon sea who possessed great wealth. Compared to them, he was obviously poor. Fortunately, he was not too interested in this martial art. The few martial arts that he possessed all far surpassed this so-called flame demon sky connecting bomb. Hence, as Lin Dong passively watched from the sidelines, the opening article, The Heaven Martial Art, was finally being obtained by a tall-looking man with a scar on his face for a price of 3,800,000 Xuan Yuan pills. After the stimulation of the opening Heaven Martial Art article, the atmosphere of the auction began to swiftly heat up. Although the prices of the next few auction did not reach the same level, the atmosphere of the place was becoming increasingly fiery. However, Lin Dong was unaffected by this fiery atmosphere. He was considered cash-strapped when compared with these extremely wealthy individuals. Moreover, it was difficult for these auction articles to entice him. What he was waiting for now, were those sea maps of unknown sea regions. After a couple of ordinary auctions came to an end, the auction clearly began to gradually proceed towards the main event, while the prices of the auction items that were being brought out also began to soar. Moreover, some of the better items amongst them had also drawn in the calm Lin Dong a little. However, he ultimately chose to give them up after some hesitation. Bam! After a high-level heavenly grade soul treasure was being successfully sold for a rather good price, another auction article was respectfully brought forward by a female servant. Lin Dong's gaze swept over it. After which, his body, which was leaning against the chair, suddenly sat up, as joy surged from within his eyes. This was because the item sitting on the silver plate, was a brown sea map. This is a sea map that we have obtained from the sea demon tribe. The sea region inside it is not a known one, and is likely some unknown sea region. The auction price is 800,000 Xuan Yuan pills. An unknown sea map like this usually belonged to the category of a somewhat unorthodox auction item. The main buyers of such an item were mostly risk-taking pirate groups. However, those unknown sea regions are fraught with danger, and a majority of the pirates who had embarked on a journey in search of treasure had disappeared. Hence, this kind of sea map depicting an unknown sea region was usually not overly expensive. 800,000 Xuan Yuan pills was already a relatively high price. 900,000. Soon after some whispers broke out in the spacious auction area, a single-eyed man took the lead and shouted his bid. His powerful voice was wrapped around by vigorous Yuan power as it resounded across the area. 1 million. Another person's deep voice sounded soon after the single-eyed man cried out his bid. Lin Dong suppressed the joy within his eyes, but did not immediately open his mouth. Instead, he quietly waited for both parties to push the price to around 1,300,000, before he finally said, 1,800,000. The sudden increase of 500,000 Xuan Yuan pills caused the two people contending for it to be startled. They fiercely glared at Lin Dong, and hesitated for a while, before finally sitting down. After all, they did not know whether the unknown sea region had any worthwhile treasures. 
using nearly 2 million Xuan Yuan pills on such a gamble did not seem profitable. From the auction stage, Tang Dongling's pretty eyes contained some surprise as she glanced at Lin Dong, who had bid a high price to purchase this unknown sea map. She could not understand why Lin Dong would be interested in this thing no matter how she thought about it. Could it be that he was unaware that this kind of sea map most likely depicted some poor sea region that would not yield any gain despite its danger? Although Tang Dong Ling felt some doubt within her heart, she was currently not in a position to say anything. All she could do was smile at Lin Dong, before letting her hammer fall, completing the auction process. Phew! Lin Dong quietly sighed in relief after the first unknown sea map was obtained. Regardless of whether this unknown sea map had any information that he required, he did not have much choice for the sake of obtaining the second ancestral symbol. If he somehow accidentally managed to obtain what he needed, this small price would be repaid many times over. Lin Dong's mood became much better after the first map entered his hands, and he began to pay attention to the subsequent auctions. It must be said that the auction held by the Sky Merchant Court was indeed quite good. The endless number of auctioned items could be described as all-encompassing. Martial arts, soul treasures, spiritual ingredients etc. It had everything to offer. No wonder it was said that as long as one had sufficient Xuan Yuan pills, it would be possible for one to obtain anything one desired here. It was precisely due to this, that Lin Dong was once again surprised to see something that Mu Ling Shan required after the various dazzling objects came flowing out like water. It was the Sea King Spirit Grass that had been mentioned two days ago. This item would be a great help in undoing her seal. Such a spiritual ingredient was usually precious. However, not many people purchased it due to its unique effect. Hence, Lin Dong managed to purchase this Sea King Spirit Grass at a price of 1 million. Bam! Lin Dong had just obtained the Sea King Spirit Grass, when another clearly bell sound emerged on the auction stage. After which, he was stunned to see a crystal coffin appearing on the stage. There was a completely black and dry corpse inside the crystal coffin. Lin Dong looked at the completely black corpse. For some unknown reason, the devouring ancestral symbol within his body suddenly began to tremble at this moment. This is. The sky devouring corpse? Lin Dong heard Yan's somewhat stunned voice within his mind the moment the devouring ancestral symbol shook. Sky devouring corpse? Lin Dong heard the somewhat stunned voice of Yan and was a little startled. He asked somewhat curiously, what is that? Why does the devouring ancestral symbol in my body has such a reaction towards this thing? This thing is made from the devouring ancestral symbol. Why do you thinking there is a reaction? Yan replied in an indifferent voice. What? Lin Dong's pupil suddenly shrunk. Even with his calmness, he still involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air at this moment. His eyes revealed some shock as he looked at the dry black corpse inside the crystal coffin on the stage. This. This was made using the devouring ancestral symbol? Lin Dong could not be blamed for losing his composure. After all, he was considered the current owner of the devouring ancestral symbol. Yet, Yan was currently telling him that the corpse in front of him was made using the devouring ancestral symbol inside his body. How could he not be stunned? Moreover, if I my senses are not wrong, it should be a devouring sky corpse that the devouring master had personally refined back then, Yan continued. Back then, the devouring master had gathered many mystical ingredients in the world, and refined three devouring sky corpses. Two of them had been destroyed during the world war. This current one has likely managed to luckily survive. TSK, you are really quite lucky to be able to find this thing. Devouring Master. Lin Dong curled his lips. He gradually suppressed the shock inside his heart, as his eyes shone while looking at the black corpse inside the crystal coffin. This thing was actually refined by a peak expert of ancient times. Since Lin Dong had obtained the devouring ancestral symbol, he was able to sense just how powerful it was. However, his current self clearly did not have the ability to do as the Devouring Master did back then, and use the Devouring Ancestral Symbol to refine this so-called Devouring Sky Corpse. Is it very powerful? Lin Dong quietly asked in his heart. A Devouring Sky Corpse at its speak can fight with a general level Yimo. If we convert this to the ranking that you use, it should be equivalent to. A Samara Stage Expert. Yan spoke in a faint voice. Samsara Stage? Lin Dong's heart which had just calmed down once again began to involuntarily beat violently. He looked at the black corpse with some disbelief. He was really unable to believe that this thing could actually fight with a Samsara stage expert. This was equivalent to the strength of the Yuan Gate sect master. Additionally, the Devouring Sky Corpse possessed some properties of the Devouring Ancestral Symbol due to them having been refined using the Devouring Ancestral Symbol. This property is Devouring Power. 
This allows it to possess an indescribable defensive ability. Back then, the Devouring Master was being surrounded and attacked by five Great King level Yemos. A single Devouring Sky Corpse had endured the full force attacks of the five Great King level Yemo before being destroyed. From a certain point of view, even a Samsara stage expert would be unable to destroy a Devouring Sky Corpse at its peak condition. Lin Dong's face was filled with shock. This Devouring Sky Corpse was actually so domineering? Then this Devouring Sky Corpse. Lin Dong swallowed a mouthful of spittle. Would he not be unbelievably strong if he managed to obtain this Devouring Sky Corpse? In that case, the matter of the nefarious bone old man would really not even be worth mentioning. You are overthinking things. Although this Devouring Sky Corpse has survived, it has clearly suffered a serious damage, and will have difficulty reaching its peak strength. Yan unceremoniously poured a bucket of cold water over Lin Dong's head. Lin Dong smiled in embarrassment. He hesitated for a moment before speaking, can it be repaired? Yes, it can be repaired as long as one has the devouring ancestral symbol. Yan quickly replied. However, attempting to repair it with your current strength is not a simple matter. Back then, even the devouring master was only able to refine this devouring sky corpse after having complete control over the devouring ancestral symbol's power. It is fine as long it can be repaired. Lin Dong's mouth parted into a smile. The heavens had delivered this devouring sky corpse to him. This was his opportunity, and he must not let it go. Otherwise, he would have nowhere to cry. However, do you really have the Shuen Yuan pills to fight with others for this devouring sky corpse? Yan had once again turned Lin Dong into a statue with one sentence. After being stunned for a moment, he finally clenched his teeth and ruthlessly said, at the very most, I will use a martial art in my possession to bid for it. I will obtain this devouring sky corpse at all cost. In any case, this thing would definitely be his. While Lin Dong was conversing within his heart, Tang Dongling on the auction stage pointed her delicate finger towards the black corpse in the crystal coffin and laughed, it is rumored that this is something that had been dug out from deep under the sea. I am perhaps unable to give a detailed answer as to what it is. However, I can only tell everyone that this corpse is extraordinary. This is because a profound death stage expert from our Sky Merchant Court had tried attacking it, only to end up failing to destroy it. Crash. Waves of noise was undoubtedly stirred immediately after Tang Dong Ling's words sounded. Many people's eyes were stunned as they looked at the seemingly ordinary black corpse. This thing was actually able to endure a profound death stage's full force attack? Miss Tang, is this a puppet? A black robed man from the seats at the front of the auction suddenly opened his mouth and spoke in a low voice. A black light rippled around him as he spoke. It seemed as though many illusions appeared around him, causing one to be unable to identify the actual body. That fellow is Chen Ying from the illusionary demon sect. It seems that he is somewhat interested in this corpse. Some conversations emerged around him as the black robed man uttered those words, swiftly spreading the identity of this person in the process. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. This illusionary demon sect possessed quite a great reputation within this chaotic demon sea. Its strength was not weaker than the two great caves in the Heaven Wind Sea region. It can indeed be considered as a puppet. However, Dang Dong Ling hesitated for a moment. However, she ultimately said, perhaps this thing requires a special control method. Otherwise, it seems difficult to activate it. Unable to activate? Many people were stunned upon hearing these words. Soon after, they laughed. What was the point of buying this thing if it was impossible to control? Could it be that one intended to use it as a shield? Yan, this thing can't be controlled? Lin Dong immediately asked in his heart. Others are indeed unable to control it. This is because they do not possess the devouring ancestral symbol. Only the owner of the devouring ancestral symbol can control it, Yan said. In other words, only you alone in this entire world can control the devouring sky corpse. Lin Dong involuntarily licked his lips upon hearing this. The excitement deep within his eyes became even more intense. Chen Ying from the illusionary demon sect frowned because of Tang Dong Ling's words. He stared at the black corpse, and could vaguely sense that this thing was not so simple. Let the auction begin. The auction price is 5 million Xuan Yuan pills. Tang Dong Ling smiled and said. 5 million. It's too expensive. How can a puppet that cannot be controlled be worth this price? That's right. Some dissatisfied voices spread from the auction ground after her words sounded. It was likely that they believed this price was a little high. However, their dissatisfaction clearly had little effect. Hence, it became a lot quieter after the noises continued for some time. This silence continued for a while, before someone finally opened his mouth and said, 5,100,000. This person who had spoken seemed to be quite hesitant. 
After all, this sum was not small. Another dozen or so people began to bid after him. However, the price still remained below 6 million. 6 million 500,000. Chen Ying from the illusionary demon sect suddenly spoke out at this moment. These people quickly shrunk back at his appearance. It was likely that they did not wish to compete with the former. 7 million. Lin Dong watched this scene, before finally sighing as he opened his mouth. Whoosh. Lin Dong's voice had just sounded, when countless pairs of eyes shot over. Even Tang Dong Ling on the stage looked at him in astonishment. It was likely that she did not understand why he would bid for this black corpse. Moreover, she also understood Lin Dong a little. He did not have many Xuan Yuan pills. According to the rules, he was not really allowed to bid. However, she did not say anything at this moment. It was likely that Lin Dong was aware of what he was doing. 7,500,000. Chen Ying glanced at Lin Dong, before speaking with a frown. 8 million. Lin Dong was helpless. His expression did not change as he continued to raise the bid. This price was actually approaching his limit. After all, he did not have much Xuan Yuan pills to spend. 8 million was already his limit. The price was already quite high after reaching this stage. Even Chen Ying had begun hesitating a little. After all, his true aim was not this unknown black corpse, and this expenditure was too great. Hence, he eventually shook his head and gave up on competing. Lin Dong's heart immediately sighed in relief after seeing this. Before he could completely relax however, a playful laughter was emitted from the front. 9 million. Lin Dong's expression sunk. He lifted his head, and saw a mocking Xie Yan staring at him from the front. This person seemed to be targeting him. 9 million going once. Is there any higher bid? Dang Dong Ling quietly sighed in her heart. It seemed that this Xie Yan intended to cause trouble for Lin Dong. However, she was helpless in response to this. All she could do was continue the auction. Lin Dong's eyes became dark, as both of his hands involuntarily clenched tightly under his sleeves. A murderous intent faintly surged within his heart. Lin Dong fists tightened more and more. Nine million thrice. However, a somewhat young voice suddenly sounded before Tang Dong Ling's final words were uttered. Ten million. The entire auction ground fell into an uproar. Lin Dong was also startled. After which, he turned his head, only to see the smiling Mu Ling Shan beside him, 